to games and speaking to a lot of people and just generally networking and keeping myself and Alan. Uh, and John Dreyer has been working for us as well, just to keep our eye out on, on players that have done well against us, um, whether they're, they're contracted to other clubs and they're out of contract, um, players that have uh, played against us who have been on loan or players that have come to us who have been on loan as well. So, so really it's just a, a general keeping your, your eyes open and your ears open to see what, what's out and what's there available. available. Um, as I said, you know, we all, I think at the moment there's other other parts of the football club that we need to put money money into at the moment more than the scouting system. I think that's a sort of little bit of a, another department that I think the club will come round to it when we talk about structure down the line um, in terms of getting going out and seeing non-league players and um, and getting regional scouts in place. But obviously, all that that comes at that comes at cost. Brothers, yeah. Well, I, you know, I'm a big believer as well. Of there's a there's a group of players between 18 and 21 that have the initial disappointment of getting released by by your Premier League clubs and your Championship clubs that that uh, are possibly not developed enough, but have got enough potential to, to with a bit of love and a bit of work on the training ground and an opportunity uh, to, to to come again and. I've been a big believer in that for quite a long time that, that there is that group, especially the lads that do drop out of that the, the, the Premier League club where they've got no those, those young kids now, they've got no chance of getting in Man City's team, they've got no chance of getting in you know, the worst team in the in, in in the Premier League, they've got no chance of playing in that team because it's full of French French lads as well. So the, the young players now have got you know, that that's how it is. So we're here we've got good enough coaches, um Facilities is the big thing that we talked about. We need to definitely upgrade them, which I'm on to Kelvin all the time about that. Uh, and um, there is the location of the football club as well, which is which is a great location as well. So if we can, you know, stick our arms out and catch those guys when they're falling and get them going again and moving back on, you know, we we have the benefit of players playing our first team that don't cost us any money and potential. Um, uh, potential assets to, to, to move on if they do well enough to, to attract any interest elsewhere.